everyone. This is Joanne. Mary Roach wrote a book about living and working in space. Bye. Ed. Hi everybody, this is Joanne. The incomparable Mary Roach has written a new book about living and working in space called Packing for Mars, and I think you should just go out and get it. Oh, you want to know more? Okay, that I can do. So Mary Roach is an intrepid author, one who dares tackle the tough topics of cadavers and the afterlife and sex in a scientific way and give us the historical overview of what science has done to learn more about these things. And now she has done the same thing again in her humorous and diplomatic style about learning how the human body can withstand the pressures, the psychological and the physical pressures of living and working in space, whether it is merely orbiting the Earth or heading to the moon or possibly heading towards Mars. So she asks the very tough questions that we've all wondered to ourselves but we're afraid to ask. Things like, how do they really go to the bathroom out in space? And how do you take a shower? Uh, does it start stinking up there if you don't take a shower? If we've got multiple people in a capsule uh, not bathing? How about what happens if you vomit in your helmet? What about sex? Is that ever going to be possible or allowed? How about eating? How do we do all these things? How does the body handle gravity or lack thereof? And what about re-entry into the Earth? These are all complicated questions that, of course, NASA has spent a lot of time investigating, as well, of course, the, the Russian space program so, and the Japanese space program. So anybody that has a space program has been asking these questions over the past few decades. Of course, like I said, she's very, very funny, always like a wry bit of humor included in her discussions. So you're never left feeling squeamish or weird even though you know you're reading things that maybe aren't usually the topics of polite conversation. So I definitely recommend Mary Roach's book, Packing for Mars, The Curious Science of Life in the Void. Get it today. You'll be laughing the whole way through. All right. Bye. Hi, I'd also like to recommend two other books that give you a little bit more perspective on the physics and the engineering and the science of actually getting out into space. And the first one is called How to Build Your Own Spaceship, The Science of Personal Space Travel. Should we ever get to do that on our own without the help of large space agencies? And I'd like to recommend a book that even your mother will understand, even if she's not an astrophysicist or a rocket scientist. It's a book called It's Only Rocket Science and this is by Lucy Rogers and this one explains everything you need to know about how they get those rockets out in space and track them and get them back. So definitely a good read.